Hey everyone, and let's talk about the Telegram app and how you can download and save photos and other media, something like videos, uh, from the Telegram chats to your iPhone. And there are two ways to approach this. There are like two methods how you can go about it. So I will explain both in this video. So let's just get started right now. So the very first thing to begin with is to just download a single image. So in case you are in part of the, the group chat or you subscribe to someone's Telegram channel, you can click on the photo that they posted and you can just click on the more options. That's the three dots in the upper right corner. So you can go ahead and click on that and you have the option to show it in chat or save the image. So if you click on a save image, it's just going to store it on your iPhone inside of the iPhone's gallery app. So it's a very simple way to go about it. It just saves it. It just stores it right on your iPhone. The same thing applies to the videos that you share there as well, because, yeah, you couldn't just hold down on it or like open it up and get the more options and just download and save the video. However, it would also make sense to automate this or uh, in the case, in the situation that you want to download basically every single piece of content or every video that someone shares, the specific channel publishes, you can also do it uh, in the following way. So if you go to these settings in the lower tab bar, you can see contacts, chats and settings. So tap on the settings and there you need to go ahead and go to the data and storage section. So tap on the data and storage and you have some storage usage, network usage. You can see automatic media download using uh, cellular, Wi-Fi, whatever. And you may want to think or you may actually believe that this is the way to go about it to like uh, enable the auto download media, but it's not going to like download it to your photos. It only downloads it for you to see it right away, because otherwise you have to click on the picture to download and load up. Perhaps you want to have it automatically enabled. So that's how it works. The section for uh, automatic media download that doesn't really apply to you in case you want to save the photos right to the gallery of your iPhone. So like save them for an offline use and store it physically on your iPhone. For this, you have to scroll down a bit more and click on the save to photos. And there are some different things which apply to different sections. So chats, groups and channels. So let's say that it's going to be private chats. We can see save to photos can be uh, turned on for photos and videos or either of one, depending on your preference. Same thing applies to group chats and the same thing can be found in the, the channels. So you can choose whether you want to only save photos, save videos, whatever it is. One very interesting thing inside of every section is at the exception. So you can choose an exception for uh, things which you don't want to download it from. So in case you uh, like subscribe to channels after clicking on exceptions, it's going to show you all of them, all of them that you are part of. And you can choose that you want to download photos from every single channel except for this one. So you get what I'm saying, right? So, yeah, you can only choose uh, from which you want to download them now. I hope that I explained it properly because that is the way how you can change it. That is the way how you can save photos and videos right from the Telegram app to your photos and to the gallery of your iPhone. Hope the video helped you out. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. And for more content and tutorials like this one, definitely hit the subscribe button and we can see each other in the future. Have a great rest of the day.